Hey everyone, and welcome to another 5 minute tutorial. This time, I'm going to teach you how to make a pretty gem. I don't like empty background layers, so I'm going to create a background color, and then I'm going to put a layer on top of it. After that, let's select our pen tool on the left. For a gem, we're going to need precision, so go to view at the top and turn the grid on. To create straight lines, hold your shift key down. I'm cutting out the shape of the gem. Let's erase any extra lines that we have. And then I can go to the left, grab the bucket tool, and just fill the rest of the color in. If you don't like the shape of the gem, you can just go to select at the top and you can go to the transform tool and you can change it there. We can resize it and whatever. I'm going to make mine thinner. After this, I'm going to find my airbrush tool. The airbrush is a soft brush on Metabang because it has soft edges. Now I'm going to select a lighter blue. To stay in the lines, we could put a check mark in Protect Alpha above the Layers panel. This helps me immensely when doing almost all of my art. And then let's duplicate our layer. I'm going to grab an even lighter color. Protect Alpha on this new layer is still checked, so I'm going to go along everywhere, especially the edges. You'll see why in a second. Now let's go to Select, Transform, and let's shrink it and put this in the middle of the gem. Hit OK. After that, I'm going to add different colors on top of this. I'm going to go under this layer and create a new layer and grab my selection tool on the left and use the top menu to drop down to the polygon. To stay in the lines on this, we're going to need to select our clipping layer. That way it won't leave the lines of whatever's on the layer below it. I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm going to finish filling these lines in to make it look even more 3D. I really feel like this top layer needs more color variation. So I'm going to grab my airbrush tool and I'm going to, you know, vary, vary the colors a little more. This is starting to look better to me. Let's create a new layer on top and let's set the blending mode to overlay. Now let's go to the bottom left way under the brushes, the very bottom left option, the little cloud with the down arrow, and let's click that and download a new brush. I'm going to grab fluffy watercolor and the sparkle brush. The watercolor is for texture and the sparkle brush is for shine. I'm going to double click my sparkle brush and I'm going to turn my particle size all the way to nothing and I'm going to turn the random all the way to up and I'm going to color the overlay layer. I apologize for my dog's barking. And now I'm going to grab my fluffy watercolor brush and I'm going to add some texture. I 
I want the texture on the edges of the gem to be very, very subtle, so I'm pressing very lightly. Now after this, I'm going to create another layer on top. I'm going to change the blending mode to add. And I'm going to add even more sparkles. It's starting to remind me of a night sky. After that, let's get our pen tool, the sharp pen tool, make it small, and let's draw scratches. If you're wondering how I'm adjusting the brush size so fast, I'm holding Control and Alt at the same time, and I'm dragging my pen left or right to make it bigger or smaller. And then we just continue refining until we get it how we like. That's all. Thanks for watching.